what is going on guys fmu here and this is a tutorial that was actually requested about 20 30 minutes ago um somebody asking me just to do a quick tutorial on how to download and install face packs <clears throat> now it's i think i don't think anything has changed uh, over the years it's very similar but you know sometimes uh, it's just good to have a bit of a refresher so that's what we're gonna do here today so we're on i'm going to use fmscout.com as the website to uh to do this from but uh you know obviously there's many many other um websites available now here is a selection of fm15 quick links and it's face pack so you just want to click on face packs simple as that Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. So, this is the one I've got. The Football Manager 2015 Mega Pack. The face, cutout face player face thing. Which is this one. It is very extensive. 6.9 gigs. So, you know, it's very big. So all you do is, is go in, click download. And it will take a while now you have to download it will take you to sort it out si's website and you have to download what it advises you to download so you just click on the download icons and then it will sometimes perhaps take you to the adfly uh, website just don't click on anything on there just click let, actually let's have a look uh, complete icons download complete uh, latest changes only we'll click on that okay so it will bring you onto this page and then download from mirror for free so you select one of the two options here so we'll just do that one uploaded.net and then it will do the countdown of uh, it says current waiting process so you hit that current waiting process current waiting time you'll hit that it will process through then you'll have to type in the number on there as requested and hit download and it will start the download and you'll see here there's a lot in it so it will start the download process i already have it so i'm going to cancel that off but when it's done if you click on your little download here and it will open up in your downloads folder we'll use this as an example it's not an fm thing but i've just double clicked and it opens up your jzip i'm using at the moment and it will have your face packs in there okay so you need to go to documents and sports interactive it's the top one double click on there football manager 2015 now this is where it's important if you do not have a graphics folder just create one okay just create your own graphics folder open that up and then just literally drag whatever uh, is in your face pack folder over and as you will see there is mine the uh, mega pack 7.0 with about 3.9 million thousand <laughs> it's got 151,574 items in that folder so once you've done that you need to load up your football manager game okay so once you've loaded up your game uh, go to your preferences this will work in a current save or before you load a game up or whatever go to preferences <clears throat> then hover over preferences and go to interface so once you've come into this screen what you need to do is clear the cache okay and then uh, just make sure that uh, show player uh, show pictures of players and staff who have been generated by the game is ticked then hit reload skin and it will bring you back here and as you can see uh, on my save the Manchester United squad uh, oh, wrong one, now has all its player photos and so on and so forth so it's very simple to do um, You know, it, it's it, it's not difficult um, to procedure to follow as long as you just do 
as it says you know sometimes you may have to restart your game I mean, some people do have that issue where they need to restart the game for it to work properly but uh, apart from that you know it's pretty uh, pretty straightforward so i hope that's been helpful guys uh, please drop a like comment subscribe do all those amazing things that youtube does and uh, i'll see you next time goodbye